Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We are back here today for more NHL 23 and our Portland Wolves Two Ways to Win Draft of Glory series. Uh, we are in the 34-35 uh, season. It is the playoffs. And we are in the first round, one more time, baby, uh, against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Let's go ahead and take a look at their lines. I know we did at the end of the last uh, one, but, you know, might as well go ahead and refresh ourselves. Uh, Mackinnon, Dubois, Besser. Our first line is better. Marchenko, Simino, Cohen. Our second line is better. Vasiliev, Talinder, Hellenus, their third line is better. Oland, Camper, Schwint, their fourth line is better. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, Olivier, Oliver, and Heiskanen are just as good as what we're putting out there. Uh, Kiviharyu and Pasta, kind of the same and Newton and Brandstrom again I would say would would, would even out um, it's in goal Jake Ottinger 83 overall uh, Matthias Martinson uh, former second round pick 6 foot 5 too damn damn and scratch players Stephen Rycroft uh, former first round pick Dude, if you got this guy as a first-round pick, he's 24, though, I guess. It has taken him a bit to get there. But if he can level out at, like, an 81 at the end of this next two seasons, I mean, that's a pretty solid guy for the next couple years. Beautiful. So Stephen Rycroft... Could come into this game, this series. Uh, Joaquin Ali. Um, not really anything. Well, you know what? His offensive awareness is an 89. And his shot power is pretty decent. Accuracy could use some work. Like, he's never going to be much. But he's definitely a sniper. And to see a guy. He's got 85 defensive awareness and 82 stick checking. 84 speed. You know. He's definitely not, well, he's clearly not ever going to be anything other than that. Um, but actually not a solid, not a bad player for the bottom six. Do you imagine that guy on your third line, second power play unit, just clapping bombs? Hoping they hit. Whew, and we know our team. I mean, not really a point to make any changes, I think. We're going to take a look at overalls. See where we stand. We obviously know we're the worst team overall. Uh, 84, 84, 80. So we did get some growth during the season. Uh, went from an 83 to an 84, and an 84 to an, or an 82 to an 84. Um, I didn't see what they were, but they were clearly all better than us. Let's go one more time. It goes so fast. Uh, 88, 91, and then like an 83 or something like that. So yeah, we know who the better team is. The Huskies will be taking on the Toronto Marlies. Um, honestly, the same team. Basically, that record. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start simming these games, folks. And first period out of the way. Nobody scored. 10-9 to 9 in the shot category. Period number two. Let's get it out of the way. And Mackinac. Gets a goal on Roach. Move into the third period. Down one nothing. Need to see some of these shots turning into something. Vegas on the power play. Can't get anything going. We're on a 5-on-3, 5-on-4. Nothing happened. Another power play and nothing happened. That is upsetting. And Manny Severson gets a goal on Jake Ottinger. 32 seconds left in the period, and guess what, folks? We're heading to overtime. Let's go ahead and get in to first overtime. Uh, definitely have the shots advantage. Vegas with the early power play. Can't get anything going on it. Wolves get one. Vegas gets one right after. And the game is over with Jalen Esch scoring the OT winner from the top of the circle. 
Jalen, you absolute beauty. Thank you. Uh, so the Portland Wolves win game number one, two to one in overtime. Odds are getting the first star. Had a great game. Um, I guess because he had 39 saves. Honestly, I would have given it to Roach based on the numbers. Um, but you know, can't be too upset by that. It's a computer game. It's a it's a video game. Don't get upset at stupid things. Um, all right. I did want to look at something. <coughs> Jalen is topped out as an exact elite. Oh, no. I mean, the low franchise kept him where he needed to be at the time, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, what's I going to do? Power play. I mean, first power play is fine. Second power play... I kind of want to bring... Uh... got the best he's got the power uh, who's got the best shot obviously those two are already in it left wing they're already in okay hold on a second Um, okay, so it is going to be the Italian, actually. It's okay. He's got, like, insane shot power. So it'd be silly not to let him go up there with a 96 shot power. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get into game number two. See if we can keep this momentum going against the Knights at Gold T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Period number one, Appel gets us on the board. Period number two, Heiskanen gets one, but Quinn Parker gets another one uh, just under two minutes later. And in the third period, because I'm an idiot and hit the wrong button, uh, Vasiliev gets a power play goal. And uh, we're heading into overtime. Game number two, folks. Two overtimes in a row. Clearly going to be a close series. And Camper scores in overtime to end things. Whew. So that one went by fairly quickly. Camper, Ottinger, Vasiliev getting the uh, stars of the night. And might as well head into game number three. I'll try and remember which buttons not to press. Uh, let's play our next game and simulate it. Period number one. Appel gets another early goal. Newton gets one seven minutes later. Period number two. Uh, Jennings gets a goal. Just under four minutes left in the period. And heading into game, or period number three. Uh, up two to one on the power play. Nothing happens. Uh, Vegas does have the shots advantage in this one. I don't like that. Uh, Chung gets a power play goal to put us up by two. Vegas on the power play. Can't get anything happening. Four minutes left. Three, two, one. And Heiskanen gets a goal with 30 seconds left. But it's too little, too late. And the Wolves take game number three. Series now two to one for the Wolves. Roach had another fantastic game. Severson and Chung as well. Love to see it. Game number four, folks. What's, what can happen? Anything can happen at this point. Uh, Jalen Ash with three points in three games for the veteran defender. You love to see it. Uh, period number one. Jalen Ash gets a power play goal, and Will Camper gets two. 
uh, within two and a half minutes of each other, or three minutes of each other, really. <sighs> Period number two. Cohen and Besser get goals, and we're down 4-1 to one in the third. Uh, definitely need this team to start showing up and putting the rubber on the goalie. Power play, and nothing happens. And literally go a period without doing anything. All right, fantastic, Wolves. Good job, team. All right, well, series now tied 2-2, heading back to Vegas for game number five. Not the position I wanted to be in, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, period number one, nothing happens. Period number two, uh, Stanton gets a goal on Ottinger. And we head into the third, up one, shots tied, Vegas on the power play. Oh my goodness. That was like a six minute power play. What the heck happened there? What happened there? I'm, I'm going to go find out afterwards. That was a really long one. Absolutely ridiculous. Unacceptable. And the only reason that I will accept that is because Brendan Stanton scored a goal in the first period. And that was the only goal. Penalty... 1943, Jennings, interference, high-sticking McCann, the Italian high-sticking. So within three minutes of each other, yep, that makes sense. Absolutely fantastic team. Three stars of the night, Roach, obviously, Ottinger, definitely, Stanton, for sure. But I'm going to say the defense is my third star. Screw Ottinger, he lost, he had a goal scored on him. Ooh, it was a goalie battle. It's the playoffs. It doesn't matter. Jalen Ash, though. Four points in five games. And we head into game number six at home. Up three to two in the series. If we win this game, if we win this game, we move on to the second round. If we lose, we've got one more shot, one more kick at the can. But let's... Sorry, let's do this. Uh, Vegas gets a power play goal early on in the first. Besser scores on Roach. Second period. Uh, Danny Bradley gets a goal on Jake Ottinger. And we head into the third tied at one, folks. This could go anyway. And McCann gets a goal within 30 seconds. Severson gets a goal within a minute later. Up now 3-1. to one. The Wolves can smell the blood. They're hungry. They want this. They're on the power play. Can they get a power play goal? They cannot. Manny Severson gets a goal shortly after that power play ends. Now up 4-1. to one. Oh, Vegas, remember when we were losing 4-1? to one? You don't have any sympathy for us now, did you? Tear their throats out, boys. Let's go. 4-1 to one win for the Wolves in game number 6 to take the series. Danny Bradley, 4 points in that game. The Apple with 3 assists. And... Roach, an absolutely fantastic game from him as well. You love to see it. Uh, Manny Severson with six points in six games. Uh, Danny Bradley with five. Appel with six. Severson with six. Chung with two. Jennings with one. Schwartz with zero. Zero. Two for the Italian. Two for Parker. One for Tavardoski. All right, we're going to just make this change. I mean, Schwartz has been nowhere, like basically useless. Parker has two points in less minutes. Tavardoski has a point in less minutes. Like, Lolo doesn't have any points. Cornyn has a, an assist. Defensively, Harding has three points. Four for Ash. One for Stan, one for Chucko, two for Curry, one for McCann. And, like, McCann's was a, like, just absolutely destroyed anything that was trying to happen there. Peyton Roach, absolutely on fire. Uh, we know what Dag can do. He is there if he is needed. But the youngster, 24-year-old, is getting the shot.
Alrighty. So it does look like we'll be facing the LA Kings in round number two. Seattle and Colorado together. Uh, Caps beating Toronto, and then the series in the East is basically still ongoing. So we will continue on and see what happens in the next couple days. Oops, wrong button. Simulated day. Uh, New Jersey beats Columbus, and the other two series are at th three games. Uh, Buffalo beats Philly in seven in Montreal and Florida. I would like to see Florida lose here. Just because that's who we had to play in the last one. And they do. Montreal. And we beat Montreal a lot this season. All right, we'll be facing Seattle in the next round. Fantastic. Really looking forward to seeing Seattle, what they can do. 49, 28, and 5. Uh, they did have, like... Last time it was not really good. <coughs> so, we will take a look at Seattle's team. I thought we were getting L.A., but I guess not. Kaprizov, Shane Wright, Louis Bremberg, uh, Seth Jarvis, Freddie Rodin, Nick Robertson, Matty Beniers. Nick Roy, Clinton Sopel, Vatili Kravtsov, Tuoma Letuvari, and Elias McCardle. Who is... So nobody is, like, going off on this team, points-wise. People I'm worried about. Seth Jarvis, Matty Beniers. Um, you know, Sopel has five points. So they definitely have good depth. Defensively, David Yurichak, Kari Pedersen. I remember looking at Kari. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you're having a good year. Uh, Connor Timmins, Cam York, Ludwig Eckholm, and Ian Mitchell. I mean, obviously our defense, our top pair is better. Our second pair is better. Our third pair is about the same. Goalies, Stu Skinner and Hunter Jones. I mean, I'm going to tell you, Stuart Skinner's numbers. They swept. Yeah, they did sweep the last team. Stuart Skinner's 36, though, so he's old. Might be his year, though. Um, honestly, that's a pretty damn good team. Uh, our goaltending is now an 81 overall. So that's gone up, and our goaltending is better. But everything else is not. So it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go ahead and get into it. First period, nothing happens. Second period, uh, Schwartz, Bradley, and McCann all get goals within seven minutes of each other. You absolutely love to see it. Uh, moving on to the third period, up three to nothing. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, Seth Jarvis gets a goal early. As I said, one of the players I was worried about most in this series. Uh, getting second line minutes and was a point per game in the playoffs. McCardle uh, gets a goal now 3-2. to two. Matty Beneers gets a goal. And we're tied at 3. Anybody? No? Okay, well, that went from a good game to a not-so-good game. So let's just get into overtime, folks. Oh, sh shoot. On the power play, can anything happen? I didn't see who it was. Ernesto Chung gets the power play goal, and we win another goddamn game in overtime. 
Uh, Appel had two assists. Severson with two assists. Matty Beneers with four hits. Man, Matty Beneers is pretty solid. Like, he's having a really good year this year, too, if you look at his stats. <sighs> it's okay. We have Danny Bradley. Game number two in Seattle. Yeah, I guess we're the lowest team uh, outside of, like, one, one or two teams, I think. So, simulating game number two. There's only two ways this can go. Uh, Sopel scores a goal, then Grossman and Tevardoski get goals. You love to see it. Second period, nothing happens. Uh, shots advantage definitely going to Seattle there, but we head into the third. Our last third period was not so good, and it looks like this one is not going to be so good either. Kravtsov and Bremer getting goals. Ten minutes left in this period and the game. Can we score one to bring it back to overtime? Uh, or have we just given it all up in the first period and got nothing left? Man, well, I don't know if a wolf can beat a kraken. I've uh, never seen that happen before. So, Bremberg and Skinner, great games, and Tevrodowski with two points. So, some people getting it done in that game, uh, but it wasn't good enough. Heading into the third period, uh, Wolfpack, I'm going to need you to give me a howl. Give me a good old, oh, we got to get this going. There's only one way that this needs to go, and that's our way. Big old dub. Can we make that happen? First period, Quinn Parker says, yes, coach, I feel it. I feel the passion. Second period, Seth Jarvis being an absolute machine. <sighs> All right, third period. Haven't been our best period. Seattle on the power play. They can't get anything happening. Can the Wolves claw back? Bite back, do anything. Kravtsov gets another goal. Sopel gets another goal. Quinn Parker gets one. Robertson gets one. And yeah, that was the nail in the coffin, Nick. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. Quinn Parker had two goals, Jarvis and Skinner. Okay. It's not anything that he's done. He has been fantastic. I just... <coughs> I'm just going to give him a game. I'm just going to give him a game. We're going to see how it goes. If it goes bad, we go back to Roach. If it goes good... Make a decision. Um, six points, eight points. I mean, not having a great anything down here. Nobody else is really tickling my nose. Okay. I was just going to see if there's anybody we could bring up, but I don't think it's going to help us. Um, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with where everything is right now. No one has really earned a shot to move up down here. I don't even think that's going to help anything. It's just a goal. I think it's Dag. It's Dag shot right now. We're going to give it to him. <sighs> Heading into game number four. Down two to one in the series. we got to win. It's that those third periods where we're just giving up everything. I, I, I'm really upset. Matty Bernier is on the power play in the first. Well, Dag... Oh, they put Roach in first. Fuck me. Come on. I'm just going to skip through the period because we're already going to lose. Yeah. 
Well, that's a big... I understand he's younger, but that's just seven goals. First period, nothing. Second period, Bradley gets a goal. Finally, where have you been? Heading into the third, this has been our worst period this series. Like, just the absolute worst period. And we need to hold on to this win. We need to hold on. We need another goal. We need another two goals right now. One, two, bing, bang, boom. not happening but if they hold on and play a game like that with Dagon net we might just be able to pull this one off uh, Dag and Skinner uh, Bradley with his one goal clearly as the other star um, it's three to two folks The last one I was on edge of my seat because it was exciting. This has just been stressful. Uh, the Italian scores. Bremberg gets one for them. Second period. Uh, Juracek gets one. And we're down 2-1. to one. I really need to see some push in this third period. We haven't seen it outside of like one or two goals this whole series. If they don't win, it's all over. And that was the nail in the coffin, folks. And we weren't able to let the Cinderella story continue the second time we made it to the playoffs. We did make it to the second round. You know, there are some players there that we can be proud of. And honestly, I think some sadness. Severson with nine was fine. I mean, first line, I would have liked to see closer to a point per game. I would like to see um, the Italian with five, Chung, Tevardoski with five. Like, that's just not good enough. Parker, Grossman, Jennings. Uh, Lolo had zero points. Like, that's just not good enough, folks. Low, uh, low, 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 low. I mean... Would I like to see Chucko do a little bit more goaltending wise? Three games. I mean, Peyton, you did well. You did good. It just wasn't meant to be, my friend. And that's not on you. That's on me. I didn't even want to make the playoffs. But here we are. So let's go ahead and sim to the draft. Uh, we will continue simming. And L.A. ends up winning, as well as Belleville winning the Calder. Yeah, I don't think the, <laughs> the Huskies moved on outside of the first round. So uh, Edmonton jumped 6-2. to two. That's the only one. And we don't care about that. Player retirement, we will take a look at this. Uh, uh, Braden Point, Horvat, Keller, Connor, Kaprizov. Wow, the fact that... 38-year-old Kirill Parizov is retiring at this point. Like, we are 36. He sure. Nietzsche S is 36. Nolan Patrick. The fact that Nolan Patrick made it to 36 in this and had 815 points is pretty wild. Sergachev, Yamamoto, Frost. Like, these are some young, young boys in the league right now. 
Karen Govich retires. He was just a plug that we had signed. Bo Horvat becomes a coach or a scout or something. That's some stuff that I didn't want to read. Draft interviews. So it's okay. Like, Turris would be dope. But that's not going to happen. We're going to be picking somewhere around here. Reed Carter's not bad. Let's go see if there's anybody outside of three years here. Gold Open's going to be a nice pickup for somebody a little bit later. Alright, so there just wasn't. I'm just not seeing any other league. I mean, I wouldn't... Yikes. I am not seeing anything here that I'm super excited about, folks. Uh, I wish I could move up. I mean, oh my god, Bill Maher? St. Smith? Uh, let's see. Yeah, to pray is kind of who I'm looking at. The Arm McQuaid is too early. He's gonna be a solid player, too. folks. Khalil Flynn is someone I'm legit looking at in the second round. Um, Alright, I'm going to look at that one guy because I need to make sure he is a low, is an elite. Whatever his name is, Deprez. Please don't depress me with your answer as to being not a two-way player. Alright, cool. He's a playmaker, so he's out of our books. So the one player I was looking at in the first round. Fan. Tiddly-tastic. Alright, well, you're out. Uh... I mean, he's possibly a two-way, but I don't think I'll get him. Like, I'll interview him. Play style. Sniper. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, folks, this is not going to be a great draft for us. Watch, he's going to be a playmaker or something bullshit. Oh, Marty, thank you. Ready. Three years? New topic. 
What is your biggest weakness, my friend? Physicality. I mean, that's pretty much what most guys are looking at outside of if it's a skating issue. So, Marty Hope out of Barry looks to be our guy. Elliot Clarkson, no. Uh, I mean, he's possibly. All right, well, I guess we know what we're doing here. Drafting like garbage. So let's go take a look at awards. We'll get through the draft, and then we're going to end it for this episode. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit better. Looks like Washington made it all the way to the end, so congratulations. Uh, Bedard winning the Art Ross and the Hart. Makar winning the Norris. Bedard winning the Lady Bing. Saugus winning the Calder. Haglin winning the Con Smythe, Hottinger winning the Vesna and the Jennings. Uh, sharing it with Martinson, or the Jennings anyway. Uh, Masterson going to Philly. Shane Wright winning the Selkie. Uh, Connor Bedard winning the Lindsay. Saugus, Rookie of the Year, Montreal's Rookie of the Year, won the Maurice Richard. How many freaking goals did he score? <coughs> Fifty-five goals was the most score. Well, I mean, that's pretty. It must have been close then. Like it had to have been close. Like can't just be one guy. Yeah, fifty-one, fifty-one, forty-nine. Okay, okay. I mean, seventy-seven points for rookie of the year. That's a pretty good job for Montreal. Um. And in the AHL, did we win anything? Nope, we don't win awards in the AHL usually. I mean, we don't have any players worthwhile to do that. So, um, yeah, normally I do pro or look at the progress reports, but I don't care. We're going to sim to pick 21. Uh, let's see. I mean, McQuaid was pretty solid. D'Agostini, low. Smith was a 65, medium elite. A 12, damn. Uh, Cruz. Marr was pretty solid. Weaver as well. Uh, Turris. I mean, there was quite a few. So that's kind of the thing, is like, you don't know who the, what these guys are going to be. They could be anything. But we know Marty Hope is Marty Hope. Um, we know all these guys are what they say they are. Couturier. Yeah, I'm not too interested in you. Grillo. Probably a two-way. I just don't see how he's any better than the last guy. Uh, McIntyre. Offensive. Or really small. So we're going to go with Marty Hope out of, out of Barry. Marty, come on down, buddy. He is a medium 665 overall. I mean, can't hate on that. Skating's kind of where you'd expect to be. Any 17. So I'm going to sim to the next round. I'm going to go through the rest of this draft, just or this round anyway. And to see how poorly we did here. Uh, 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 So Lambert was a 62, medium 9. Girl Yo was a medium 6. So we did it, folks. We were just fine. Uh, we are going to miss out on that guy that we were looking at. Is it Briere? Damn. Jelena, Hill, Sarich. Wow, Ottawa getting tased there in the second round. I don't even remember that guy that we were looking at here. So. So, Zach Avery. <laughs> I mean, 
not terrible, I don't think, at this time. I forgot that Flynn was here. Defensively, it's just Glebov. He is nothing special, so we'll skip out on that. Right wing, Slater, four years out. I mean, no. I mean, pretty solid, but no, especially at 20. In the second round, unless you unless you're like an NHL ready twenty year old, you're not coming. Uh, Emmerich. I mean, Emmerich's not bad, and he might have stick him up. Uh, Payette, no. Magnus Janssen, definitely a two way, but no. Marcus Pedersen, you're confirmed two way, but no. And Rudy Asina. I mean, no. And then center wise, you've got. Sorry, I just noticed I have a minute left. I'm not having this pick get wasted. So, Zach Avery. I mean, Zach Avery's not a bad pick here. I just don't think he's the pick. Uh, Christian Schroeder, four years out, not happening here. Uh, Dalton Emmerich. I mean, I can't say no to this low elite confirmed. Like, I just can't. Khalil Flynn is a low six. Are you kidding me? Um, okay. That's uh, not what I was looking for. Interesting. Uh, 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 where are we? Flynn. Avery was a medium nine. But it wasn't a gem. Scroder was a medium nine. Who was the other one? Uh, Payet was a sniper, Slater was a medium 9, Emmerich was a low 6. Alright, no more looking back. I mean, Raikos here would be too bad. I'm just taking who's available here. We'll look at the rest in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna take Sumal off. He's not anything special. I'll put Run back on there just to look at him. Actually, I'll take a look at him now. 19, five years out, yeah, no. Uh, defensively, we've got a couple guys here that we're looking at. Quite a few, actually. So... Okay, hold on a second. Not the wrong way. So five, five, four, five... Nobody here is showing me a full three years out. Any 17. Okay, yeah, it would. So far, we're looking over there. And we only have a couple here. Yeah, that's going to be the defenseman. And Jakob Rakos. 
He is a low four, 62 overall. Uh, has a solid base to work around though, and is 17. Going to 120. Definitely going to get some good players here, I think. There you go, past. Oh, I sure did. All right. Before I do anything, I'm calling call another timeout, and then I'm going to kind of go through the next four picks here. Four, five, six, and seven. All right. So forward-wise, what are we looking at here? Fukufuji, five years out at 19, probably not going to happen, not going to happen. Uh, okay, so Corson's the only one that I have interest in right now. Doyle. I mean, he's a playmaker. Corson. Honestly, I think Corson is a playmaker, but I would actually risk a shot on him. Defensively. So I think Haynes is the guy we're looking at right now. And then everyone else is pretty trash. So I think we're going to go Haynes in this round. And the next round, let me just double check where that guy was going to go. 153. I mean, it's going to be a tight, but we're going to take Barry Haynes here. He is a medium six, not bad. 153. Don't see him getting picked. And Peyton Corson is a playmaker. So he is someone we need to trade. So that's fine. Um, I have to do that anyway. Corson. <coughs> uh, 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 or somebody else on this team that shouldn't be. Homer. Uh, George Homer was a playmaker. I don't remember drafting him. He must have just been in the last one and I wasn't paying attention. So my apologies draft pick wise. There's that one. And who won the cup this year? LA. Beautiful LA. Thank you. Let's make this a done deal. And they do. Ty Pierce. Let's take a look here. Uh, UC Koivinen, 18, five years out. Great competition. Not great. Might have tip jar. Uh, low elite over here, five years out at 18. Not confirmed. Not enough that shows me you're, you're worth it. Same goes here for Austin Sterling. Uh, McIver. Pandolfo. Goodness. 
the end of this draft is just garbage. Sammy Koistitsen. All right, I'm going to go Sammy right here. Low bottom six, beautiful. 231. If that player's there, great. If not, whatever. Yeah, no. I don't even remember their name. It was that goalie. Um, no. I mean, you're better, but no. Confirm 2A and Snyder here. I mean, let's go for it. He's 20. 59 overall. Yikes. Well, I'll be honest. This wasn't the greatest end of the season, and it wasn't the greatest draft that we could have received. But I uh, definitely think there might be a couple pieces for the future in there. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty tough to say. Um, I'm going to get into the off season here shortly. I'll do that myself, and then I will bring you in before we head into uh, the 35-36 season. So thanks again, fam. Much love. Bye-bye.